What's up, friends? Happy Wednesday. Like I do every Wednesday with you here on the Keto Camp YouTube channel, I'm live with you. So make sure you put this in your calendar every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. I hit this live button and I give you a little bit of some coaching and I also answer all of your questions live Q&A. Today's topic at hand is going to be weight loss resistance. What is the cause of weight loss resistance? Hint, it's not because you're, you're exercising too little, okay? I'm gonna show you why exercise is actually not the important factor here and it's something else. And it's, it could be in nutrition, that's why keto is important, but I'm gonna illustrate something for you. And if you have any questions for me, please put them down below and let me know uh, where you're from. Lisa is already in here from Seattle. Give me your name and also where you're watching from and then any questions you have throughout this, put it down below please and I'll be sure to respond to your questions. Uh, if you don't know who I am, if you're just joining in here, this is your first time watching my videos. My name is Ben Azadi. I'm a certified functional health practitioner. I am a best-selling author of three books, the founder of Keto Camp, and I'm on a mission to educate 1 billion people on planet Earth. I see Quesnel. Where's, where's Quesnel? That's interesting. Uh, Kathy, Caribou, Kimmy, and Karen, and Missy. Hello, everybody. So I want to talk a little bit about weight loss resistance. And as I give you this coaching right here, please make sure you ask me any questions you have regarding anything. Uh, put it down below, and if I could answer it, I will answer it. Thank you guys for joining in from all over. I love it. Oh, I see GC3 Fitness in the house. What's up, GC3 Fitness? You guys, make sure you follow GC3 Fitness. He is the guy, the best guy when it comes to fitness. Follow him. All right. Can you see this board right here? Give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you can see this board. Yay or nay before I draw on this thing here. Do you see this? Awesome, Jackie. I see it. Thank you for letting me know. All right. So when it comes to weight loss resistance... Okay, it is all about your cells. You're made up of 70 trillion cells. That's trillion. And your cells could only choose two sources of fuel. Who wants to guess what are those two sources of fuel? Put it down below. What do you think it is? 70 trillion cells, you could only burn blank or you could burn, burn blank. What are those two sources of fuel? Let's see if you guys know this. Sugar or fat? Good job. Good job. Debbie, Jerry, Lisa, you nailed it. Sugar or fat? That's right. So 70 trillion cells and it could only choose sugar or fat. Either or. It doesn't do it at the same time. So this is what a cell looks like. I'm going to break it down for you. Back like we're back in your biology class and I hated biology and now all I want to do is study the human body. Your cell has its DNA, DNA nucleus in it. Now it's true, you cannot change your genes, but you could change the expression of those genes. Genes are like a Christmas tree, Christmas lights on a Christmas tree. They turn on, they turn off, they turn on, they turn off. So yes, it's true, you can't change your genes. However, I want you to look at your genes as the bullets that load the gun. You determine whether or not you pull the trigger Are you guys still there? Do you still see me? Let me know if you're still there. I kind of got, it froze for a second. Let me know if you're still watching. Okay, awesome. <clears throat> Thanks. Every cell has something around it called a cell membrane. A cell membrane. It's a lipid bilayer. Do you know what it's made up of? It's made up of protein, saturated fat, and cholesterol. That is what your cells, your cell membrane is made up of. That's why the keto diet is so amazing because it gives your cells what it's made of, made up of protein, fat, cholesterol. Notice I didn't say carbohydrates. The human body as a whole, less than 2% of the human body is made up of carbohydrates. Hence why keto is so powerful because you're not eating a lot of carbs. The cell membrane, that is the bodyguard of your cells. They communicate very effectively. And then inside of your cells, you also have 
these energy power plants of yourself called mitochondria. Mitochondria, it's the energy factory of your cells. It produces ATP. ATP are energy molecules that help you crush the day, feel good, burn fat, have energy. If you don't have ATP, you don't exist. So your cells are beautifully designed. Our creator, whether you believe in God, Mother Nature, love, the universe, designed us in an amazing way. Now every cell, and I'm getting to weight loss resistance. This I'm making my point here in case you're wondering, what the heck? I thought we were talking about weight loss resistance. Every cell has these receptor sites, okay? Think of them as cell phone antenna signals. Your hormones, you have over 600 hormones, and they are the language of the human body. I'm going to give you the example of two fat-burning hormones. The active form of thyroid, which is T3, and then I'm going to put testosterone. So these are two fat-burning hormones. When a, when a body is working the way it's supposed to work, they send signals to your cells and the receptor sites kind of, they hear it, they hear it well, they pick it up and then the hormone gets into the cell, the hormones get into the cell and it does the job, which is what? Burn fat, take food, turn it into fuel, have great energy levels, uh, you know, reduce your risk of disease and feel good. That's what we want to do. That's a healthy body. Now, if somebody has inflammation around their cells, so cellular inflammation, I'm not talking about a, a sore shoulder or a sprained ankle, that's inflammation too, but I'm specifically talking about cellular inflammation. So the red here is cellular inflammation. So before I continue, I want to know if you have any questions so far based off of this. And uh, is this making sense to you so far, or would you like for me to clarify anything for you? Let me see the comments here. Where are the comments? Live chat. Cool. We got William LeClaire from Connecticut. Thank you, Jackie, Missy, and everybody else letting me know that you could see me. Uh, we have Budapest, Hungary. Awesome. Okay. So Debbie says it's making sense. I love it. I love it. <clears throat> So what happens when you have that inflammation around your cells, then your fat burning hormones or all of your hormones, even your nutrition, I'm going to put nutrition here as well. That can't get into the cell. So you have a problem here. You have weight loss resistance because your hormones are communicating to your cells, but it can't get in. It's like you screaming at me but I have my fingers in my ears. It, it's, the message is not going to be heard. Now, you could shout louder, like what, what will happen for those of you who have children and you have kids and you tell them, go clean your room, they don't listen. So you shout louder and you're like, go clean your room, you're screaming at them. They're going to listen at first, but if you do it time after time after time, what happens? They actually become deaf to your screams. Same thing with hormones. If, you, if you're just taking testosterone or a thyroid hormone, you might feel better temporarily. Your blood work might look better temporarily, but then your hormones, or I should say your receptor sites, become even more deaf. So what happens next are symptoms, okay? What are some symptoms that people experience? Please put them down below. I'm gonna put a couple, and I want you to join in with me. I'm gonna put weight gain. What are some other symptoms that people experience? Please type it down below. I'm going to put sleep issues. I'm glad you like that analogy. Jackie, thank you. So what are some symptoms? Anxiety, is that another one? Yep, feeling f tired, fatigue, good one, guys. What else? What are some other symptoms people experience? Irritable, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put irritable. 
what's happening here. Okay, I'm back. I don't know what, what keeps happening with the internet. No motivation as well. All right, so there's a long list of symptoms. Here's the problem with conventional medicine and even a lot of new, uh, doctors and uh, nutritionists and dietitians. You're going to come to them with your, your symptom, whatever it is, being overweight, sleep anxiety, everything you guys mentioned. And they're going to look at your symptoms and they're going to treat it, maybe with some more hormones or maybe telling you to cut your calories. That is so off the cause. There is a cause and there is an effect. If you're just treating the effect, that's like you driving down the highway and all of a sudden your engine light turns on so you just grab a hammer and knock it out. Are you, are, are you fixing the problem? No. You're just removing a symptom temporarily. It, it's, it's that whack-a-mole game. So if you have inflammation causing the symptoms, we know that, hey, we need to reduce the cellular inflammation and then when you do, your symptoms go away. So when you figure out what's causing your cellular inflammation, I'm gonna give you one of the biggest causes of it in a second, and then you remove that from your life, then your body starts to downregulate inflammation, and then the hormones get in, and a side effect of treating the cause, or I should say determining the cause and removing the interference, a side effect is, oh, you lose weight. Oh, your sleep gets better. Oh, you're not anxious anymore. Oh, you have energy all day long. Oh, you're not irritable. Oh, you don't get cold all the time. Your symptoms go away when you focus on the cause. Okay, I want everybody to understand that. That's why so many people get it wrong and that's why I'm determined to be out here to teach you guys there is a cause and an effect. So only 3% of the population understand that and you guys are part of the 3%. So I'm gonna explain what the biggest cause of inflammation is in a second. Before I do that, if this was valuable, if this has been valuable to you and you haven't hit the thumbs up button on this video, please hit it. Hit that button and if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe and hit the bell so when I do go live and I do have new videos, you're alerted right away and you can be the first person to watch it. Thank you, Jackie. I'm glad these analogies make sense. I appreciate that. Kathy, Jackie, uh, APR, A Prime, thank you so much. All right, who wants to guess what the biggest causes of cellular inflammation is. I see the thumbs up. Thank you so much. Went from three to 10. I appreciate that. I'm going to give you the sugar is one of them, but it's, it's not the biggest one. Sugar is a cause, but I, I'm talking about the big boys here. Who wants to guess before I give you the answer? So I have two sugars. Sugars does cause it. It does help. But if you have these, it's, it's going to overpower the sugar. Carbs as well. Carbs does matter. But here, here, here's the biggest thing, the biggest cause. Toxins, my friend. Yeah, A prime got it. Toxins. And there's toxins all over. So that's a general statement. So what do I mean by toxins? Well, silver fillings. Did you know that if you have silver fillings, 50% of those silver amalgam fillings are mercury. Do you know that mercury gets go, it goes from in from organic mercury in your tooth and it vaporizes into inorganic mercury in your hypothalamus pituitary and it stays there and it creates so much cellular inflammation. So the biggest cause here toxins. Not only that keeps breaking up here. Sorry about that. So yeah, the more fat you have, the more toxins you have and vice versa. The more toxins you have, the more fat you have because your body is very smart. When you have toxins around, it's going to create fat cells for it to go and hide into because it doesn't want those toxins to go into your vital organs. So yes, your body stores a lot of these fat soluble toxins. So silver fillings are one of the big ones. Also lead. If you live in a house or ever lived in a house that was built before 1978, they use a lot of lead-based paint. Or if your parents did so and then gave birth to you, that's passed down through generation, through generation, through four generations, stored in the bone, passed down to baby, to baby, to baby. So heavy metals are a big reason why people have cellular inflammation. Huge reason why. And they could be eating the best diet in the world, no carbs, no sugar, 
keto, fasting, even sleeping well, but if you have these hidden toxins, it's creating inflammation and your nutrition can't get in, your fat burning hormones can't get in and you're having weight loss resistance or whatever symptom you're having, it's not going away until you remove cause. So my challenge to every single one of you is to, first of all, to determine your level of toxicity, if you go to www.toxicmiami.com, I have a free toxicity quiz so you can determine your level of toxicity. Number two, I want you to listen to my podcast that's coming out on Monday with Dr. Dan Pompa, and he talks all about what I'm talking about here, toxins. And it's the first episode of the Keto Camp Podcast. It's going to be released Monday, so save that reminder, or, or save it in your phone as a reminder, and listen to that episode as he goes a little bit deeper. Now, the second reason why people have cellular inflammation, hidden infections. What are, what are those? Those are going to be uh, root canals. If you've had a root canal, 100% of root canals are infected and it creates this anaerobic bacteria in your mouth and it creates cellular inflammation. If you ever had a wisdom tooth extracted, there's an 88% chance that you have something called a cavitation, which is anaerobic bacteria hiding out in your mouth causing inflammation. So it's a lot of these hidden sources that I'm sure your doctor never asked you about. This is the, these are the questions I ask my one-on-one -on -one clients. Have you ever had silver fillings? Have you ever lived in a house before 1978? Have you ever had uh, mold exposure? Mold is another one of those big boys here. So mold, toxins, and hidden infections are the reason why people are not getting well. What questions do you have for me so far? I saw some questions. I'm going to scroll up a little bit. It could be about this, it could be about anything. I want to be answering, I want to answer all your questions. I have Saro dog training. If you have a pet, follow Saro dog training. Question about sleep. I fall asleep easily, but I can't sleep long enough. I can't sleep four to six hours max. I found a product that helps big time Saro called, called um, Seraphos. That helps when you wake up in the middle of the night and you can't go back to sleep. Seraphos. S-E-R-I-P-H-O-S, you take it in the middle of the night, take two to four, it'll help you, it'll help calm the adrenals, and it'll help you go back to bed. You could try that. Uh, you could also try one teaspoon of raw honey right before bed. It's usually enough glucose to stay asleep. I just talked about that in a video I released yesterday. So try that, Siro. How do we get rid of the toxins, or can we get rid of the toxins? Yes, you can. There's a, that's what I teach my one-on-one -on -one clients. Uh, so heavy metal detoxification, getting healthy at a cellular level. Yeah, you can do it. Um, so chelation for toxic metals. There's different ways to do it. You probably heard about like chlorella and, and a juice fast or uh, like little weak binders. That's not going to get the big boys. You're going to have to go through an extensive protocol. We listened to that episode on Monday with Dr. Pompa. You're going to learn more about it. Take that quiz. And if you want to learn more about it, uh, you'll have the opportunity to do so after you take that quiz and we can hop on a 15 minute call and I can explain a little bit more about how to get it out the right way. So if you have any of these three, we definitely need to have a conversation about it. Chamomile tea is, is good for, for sleep as well. Good job, Bina. Great suggestion. Good to see you, v, uh, v, uh, VoIP Portland. I'm going to say that. Um, let's see. Jackie says, I have root canals. What can I do? If I had them removed, would lose teeth to chew them. There is different options out there, Jackie. Uh, if you have a root canal, watch this movie called uh, Root Cause, this documentary. It was so controversial. Netflix I had to take it off of Netflix. But you can go to rootcausemovie.com and watch it. Uh, find a biological dentist, Jackie, and they'll give you options for the root canal. What's the website for the quiz? It's www toxicmiami.com. You don't have to be from Miami, but it's toxicmiami.com. It's a free quiz and you can learn your level of toxicity. Fernando says, can testosterone help with inflammation? If it's, if it's naturally being produced, yeah, it can't hurt. But if you're taking the hormone, I gave an analogy of it is, it is, it's, it's not going to, if it doesn't get into the cell, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. So if you're naturally producing testosterone, it's not going to hurt you, but if you're just taking it, and it's not getting into the cell, then it's no use. It actually could cause more harm than good. Penelope says, once you are in ketosis, how much fat 
should you eat protein and carbs? So Penelope, when you are in ketosis, and uh, if you're following my pillar, I have a four pillar approach to how to do it, but I would say a general answer to give you would be about 75 to 80% fat, 15% protein, and about 5% carbohydrates or less. Uh, you pretty much want to make sure you're getting under 50 grams of net carbs per day and you should stay in ketosis. But remember, I don't recommend you stay in ketosis long term. I recommend flexing in and out. And if you want to learn more about that, get my Keto Kickstart Guide book by going to www.ketokickstartsguide.com. Barb, additives to foods are toxins. How do you deal with the other other than eating all organic? Um, there is, I mean, coffee enemas are going to help, uh, making sure you have a healthy liver to process those toxins. It's going to help. Uh, so keto and fasting, fasting is a great way to do it. Bind B I N D is a great way to start removing toxins. So when I finish this video, I'm going to put a link for it, but systemic formulas bind great way for you to start removing toxins. So if you can't go organic and you're getting them in your food, you could take four bind before bed and it'll help when the liver dumps bile to pull it out of the system and put it into the toilet. Ben, when I go to your website to get your keto guide, it ha I don't see where it's been delivered. So Barbara, if you claim the keto kickstart guide and you put your name and email, you should have automatically been sent an, um, an email with the book. Check your spam folder. If it's not in there, then email me at ben at ketocampinnercircle.com. Let me know that you didn't get it and I'll send you the, I'll reply with the PDF version. So ben at ketocampinnercircle.com. Yeah, Kathy, it's called BIND, B-I-N-D from Systemic Formulas. It helps remove toxins from the body. H-H, uh, how often do you flex in and out of ketosis? I follow a, a 4 two, one rule. That's my, what I personally follow most of the time. So four days, I've been doing one fast, so still in ketosis. So six days out of the week, I would say 90, 90% of the time I'm in ketosis. And then one day out of the week, I have a feast day, high healthy carb days where I'm getting out of ketosis. So I would say 90% of the time staying in ketosis, 10% or so getting out. But that's because I already been in ketosis for several months, I've done it, I've developed my metabolic flexibility. You wanna do that first before you start flexing. Okay, you want to develop that metabolic flexibility. So if I have a day where I'm eating 300 to 400 grams of carbohydrates in one day, I could be right back into ketosis the next afternoon because I have that metabolic flexibility. That is what we all want to accomplish here. What's your thoughts on carb cycling or carb refeed on keto? Well, Fernando, that's exactly, I, I recommend it once you have the metabolic flexibility. I call it carb flexing or keto flexing. So I think it's good. But when I say adding in carbs, I mean healthy carbs. Uh, some yam, some yuca, sweet potatoes, some fruits, even some ancient grains or some silk beans, it's okay. This is the time to have that good stuff. You gotta keep in mind, there's not one culture in the history of this world that ever stuck with one diet long term not even keto, when your ancestors had the opportunity to come across a fruit tree or a, a honey, a honeycomb, they're gonna feast on that, okay? They're not gonna look at their tribe and say, oh, we can't eat that, we're keto, okay? That's not the way it used to go. So we're designed to be in ketosis most of the time, but not all the time. What other, what other questions do you have for me, friends, before I sign off here for the day? And I'm gonna do an Instagram Live and a Facebook Live too. If you're not following me on Instagram yet, go to uh, Instagram and put at the Benazadi uh, and follow me on Instagram and then type in Benazadi on Facebook if you want to connect on Facebook and also LinkedIn, Benazadi on LinkedIn. Stay tuned. I'm going to be releasing a, a, a video this week from a talk I did. You got, thank you, Prime. I appreciate the heart. Appreciate the heart, Prime. Thank you. Melatonin will help uh, short term, you don't want to rely on it and you want to make sure it's from a quality brand because it is a hormone. Jackie says, I have learned to be happy with just a small amount of carbs at each meal. If you're interested in a private consultation, uh, send me an email at ben at ketocampinnercircle.com 
and we could, I'll give you a link for my availability and we'll go from there. We'll see if it's a good fit. I know Jackie, it's, I don't know what's going on, but my internet keeps going in and out. I'm gonna sign off. Last question I'm gonna answer here. If you're a diabetic, will it be harder to lose weight? It will be harder to lose weight, but it's not impossible. You still wanna focus on the big boys, the toxins, and keto and fasting would be huge. Um, again, if you want to learn more, email me. Another cool live, thanks, Mr. Azadi. Hey, I wanna thank all of you guys for joining me today. Every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Eastern time, I'll go live with you. If this has been helpful, hit the like button. If you haven't liked this video yet and subscribe to it as well. Uh, Jackie, what I said was I was losing internet connection. And uh, if you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation, email me at ben at ketocampinnercircle.com. Have an amazing day. Stay grateful. Stay blessed. You are amazing. And I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for your support with this channel. Let's keep sharing all the videos with your friends. Let's change the world. Let's impact one billion lives together. And I appreciate you guys. Have an amazing day. Get out there and be great.